Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back, DJology, the science of DJing. I have got another guest for you here today, and uh, his name is DJ Rage, and he has got a very, very big DJ bag. I do. <laughs> I carry it everywhere. He carries it everywhere. Go ahead and tell him a little bit about yourself. Uh, um, I don't know. Okay. Rage. Let's see if I can make that more more awkward. Uh, <laughs> what, what do we I, got? Like, I like long walks on the beach. I'm a Libra. Uh, <laughs> How long have you been DJing? Uh, 20 years, since oh. 1999. It's like a trick question. You have to do the math in your head and like figure it out. Well, funny enough, the way I know that is um, back in the day when you would buy media, it would go you know, by the month and year. And so it was in February of 1999 because that was that month's record pool was giving out the music. Oh wow! Very so you, so very he has different a time. He has a visual representation of well, when he started well, when DJing. Well, you, when you would DJ back then, you had a song request. You'd have to go back to your crate, and then I would visually remember where songs were. And funny enough, you'd always buy doubles because what if you needed to play something? That was, <laughs> yeah, of course. Was on that CD or record, you needed two, so you were just doubling up on stuff and. Um, those are just the things you had to do. <laughs> it was always fun for me. I'd buy doubles of every record because yeah, I mean, what if I wanted this instrumental with yes. this? <laughs> well, and if you didn't realize it, you would when you're out of the gig. You're like, you know, I need another one of those because now I can't play that <laughs> track that I want to play that happened to be on there. Be like, stop dancing real quick. Let yeah. me flip this record <laughs> over yeah. and, and drop oh, the yeah. needle. <laughs> well, and, and then you would, you know, the, the era of DJs quick mixing and stuff didn't exist back then. You had to go get it, cue it up, get it ready. I mean, you needed a solid two minutes to go <laughs> dig it out, get it ready. I mean, now it's a piece of cake. I mean, you could just have a whole set list ready to go. But, I mean, you can even see the progression in, like, DMC battles. You saw how much. Oh, yeah. Those guys were even still prepared. They were ready to go with, they like, were their little stickies. Records. They were ready, and then they had, like, a record assistant. Oh, and the sticker for the needle drop, yeah, right? Yeah, and then, you, you know, they would, I remember watching an old one. This guy was just stacking, and he had his record stacked in the order that he wanted to use it. Well, kind of like a prepared folder is nowadays, except, you know, it's visually, you just have this, you know. So. It looked way cooler on stage to flip records than it did to go through it. So, long story <laughs> short, that's how I know when I started DJing, because I can remember the dates on, on when I got stuff. So, <laughs> What do you consider a DJ? Uh... Oh, whoa, you see his eyes got real big on that one. Well, because, because you know, you have like, I won't tell you what I said I, yesterday. I, I, I listened to XM Radio, and the people on, on, on those stations were like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a DJ. And I'm like, yeah, you're more formatting than you are DJing. To me, DJing is live playing a couple you know, songs together where you know what people used to consider like a disc jockey was a radio guy that really because i'd been in radio before too you're you're just you're formatting you're you're, you're playing a, a program back it's not them doing it live unless it's a quote unquote dj that comes <laughs> in and does like a five o'clock mix or something then to me yes that is but like so, so i guess to answer your question djing is is, is yeah, i live. stumped them i see you got the eyes live. got real big and now we well, got no, it's, it's, it, you're 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 picking the songs you're doing it live whether or not you're beat matching or not i don't know because you know there's DJs that don't know how to beat mix, but they still are able to rock a party. I mean, I didn't when I started. Of I just course. slam mix songs, and I, I I would play the songs that I wanted to, but wasn't like there was you know <laughs> anything good in between there. Well, just, well, that's oh. the funny thing. There, there's all these different levels, and what everybody considers a DJ to be different things. That's why I like to to ask that question and see what comes up. You know, because you had, okay, you had so to like dig deep. But how, I could see what they would have varying opinions on it, but of course, it's, yeah. not like and, and that's, it's not like I'm hating on someone that's like a radio <laughs> jock. It's just to me, it's like I know that you're just you're the the station formats and and well, you're playing that. Well, there's a difference format. between someone who's a radio personality and yeah. just babies. It's a pit playlist, yeah. you know, versus uh, someone who's actually playing yeah. playing the song. Well, and it, you out. know, there's different roles that there's the program director. They're making the program. That's of course, we have out. these specific songs <laughs> that we yeah. have to play that are pushed by the There's label. There's even orders. I learned that. That was kind of... There's what? Like, you have categories. You have okay. uh, A's, B's. Uh, and people are going to watch this and go, he doesn't... I, I, I don't remember them off the top of they, my head. They have flashback songs. Well, no, I know that's have, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but you have those categories. And I learned from a couple guys when I was living in South Florida, like, this is a format that they use. Well, if you can do the same format... While you're DJing, you'd be surprised at how many more people 
are more entertained because you're doing what they do on a radio station and people listen to radio stations. So if you can do a similar format, not the same songs, but you're picking, you know, oh. the throwbacks, the A's, the B's, the prime or, or whatever, whatever, they, whatever the formula whatever, is, whatever they call the, the peak ones that they would do, you know, and then they have, they play them every so often. And you know, people are just used to that because that's what they listen to. Of course. So you can give it back to them that way. They're like, Oh, I really like this DJ. Nah, they're just formatting in a way that's familiar to you. If I don't hear <laughs> Old Town Road three times in an hour well, yeah, when yeah, it was exactly. popular, you know? <laughs> I play the remix and they're like, can you play the original? Like, go to your car and listen to it. It'll be on. Trust me. <laughs> Pull your phone out. Yeah, don't yeah. be that guy. <laughs> okay, uh, what types of events do you do regularly? Regularly more than anything is corporate events. That's, corporate that's events? Co- corporate events being um, they're private events put on by companies that range from you know different types but they're all considered under the umbrella of corporate okay yeah what would you pass to someone else weddings <laughs> all right you didn't have to think about that too much he was like all right weddings i, I i've done weddings you want, I, you want to elaborate weddings. a little bit on that <laughs> I, I did weddings for 10 years um i you know i have a business partner who handles weddings now and so anything that goes on there gets passed to him and he takes care of it with the djs who do the weddings and I, I find the more I can focus and hone in on one thing, the better I am, and I'm more well known for it. Um, I think being uh, having a niche, a niche, niche. Yeah, there's a debate on how that word is pronounced. Ha- having, niche yeah. or niche. <laughs> so he's gonna say niche, I'll say niche, and then we'll cover both. <laughs> but I think you know, you can. I think you see success with with people who are a little bit more niche or niche driven. Yes, um, we have to say the, the, it twice. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can't help it. Tomato, tomato. Um, so so I, I just try and focus. I, I really try and focus on one thing. Um, we I have like weekly gigs too, but those are just kind of filling for when I'm not doing other uh, corporate event stuff. So. Cool. Okay, this is this, this one might take a bit, but we'll, oh, we'll oh. see. <laughs> what software talents have you accumulated through the years to maintain the gig or the job, the um, career? I mean, <laughs> Photoshop, <laughs> Photoshop. I mean, um, funny enough, if you guys are wanting to know about Photoshop, the best thing you can do is get a template and then work with the template and it'll show you, you know, how someone's already set it up and how you can manipulate it. And you do that often enough because I was making like my own flyer work and stuff. You do that every week, week in, week out. And I guarantee you within a year, you'll, you'll know way more and you don't, I, I, I I maybe did a handful of things on YouTube looking up tutorials, but the templates that you can yeah, buy. Yeah, like the templates, it, reverse, well, reverse engineering yeah, templates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the same thing with the question, uh, video editing. I did the same thing. And <laughs> Like how many softwares did you learn how to video edit with? Just one. <laughs> just one. It was enough. I mean, I was I mean like, that could be a uh, chapter in itself, well, right? Well, it was a Sony Vegas um, on a PC. Um, I know you like to do uh, more on Mac. Um, I do Premiere, yeah. Yeah, so it was one of those things where reverse engineering and also, uh, you're going to laugh, I remember watching videos in Portuguese, but I could watch what they were doing <laughs> on the screen and I could see, what, well, because it was just the first thing that would pop of up of what I was trying to do. So I know how to video edit the long, hard way. I don't know shortcuts. I don't know keyboard shortcuts because I I didn't have a formal education. I was like, just tell me how to do this. And funny enough, you can really on YouTube learn everything because I I learned how to. um, They're going to learn a lot from listening to this right here. Well, no, like I learned on a video, like you see sometimes on videos, people will make it the, the video kind of beat affected. I learned how to keyframing. Yeah. Yeah. I learned how to do that fairly quickly. So oh, I watched the video and someone showing me and whether or not you would quote unquote say that's the right way. It was a really fast way to do it. There is no right way. It's like whatever way he gets it done, right? Yeah, yeah that's the yeah, one rule. Yeah. That's the one rule well, about the just, entertainment I business, right? I wasn't in school. I wasn't, oh. so I didn't know if there was a quote unquote the the, the a better. Oh, I'm, route I'm going, sure. I'm sure so. there's yeah. If there's one message to give out to the people uh, watching the channel, there's multiple ways to get to oh, yeah. your, your end value. You yes. Know? <laughs> yeah, and and YouTube it. You go, like, you're seeing this on YouTube. <laughs> Click down below because there's going to be something that's related to whatever's here. And and, and you'd be amazed. I mean, I learned so much on, on YouTube on what I was trying to do because I, I didn't I didn't have any formal training as a DJ, as a video editor, <laughs> Photoshop. I just learned it all myself because it was kind of a necessity. 
Because oh. if not, I was going to have to pay somebody. And I mean, I had the money <laughs> to pay somebody, so I was going to figure it out on my own. Um, there was another thing. Like, uh, he, he was spinning one time, and uh, me and a buddy of mine, we came out, and we, we started chatting when, when he was playing at, at his club. And uh, we, we'd gotten onto a topic that I was like, man, I got I to gotta bring, oh. gotta bring you onto the channel. Yeah, and, probably and, the whole uh, reason for and, this. And, 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 yeah, and he <laughs> would, it, I don't remember exactly how we got into this conversation, but it was more along the lines of be prepared. When you go to your events, uh, make sure you got your RCA oh, cables. Oh, I can tell you how it came about. <laughs> I, I, it, it, I, I, I go on Facebook. I see these, these, <laughs> these, you know, chat rooms or groups, and you know, I left this cable or that cable. You know, Slip can mats, you help yeah. me out? And these cables are not expensive. Why don't you have the backup? Why don't you not only have a backup? Why don't you have something in your car? I mean, if we want to, I'll take this camera right now. We go to my car, and I guarantee you, you're going to find spare cable sitting inside. And really, you know, my 20 years experience has taught me to be prepared. Oh, if you're going yeah. to be called a professional in your career, you need to be prepared. It's like asking a, a pro football player to go out and not have cleats on. Really? <laughs> like you need to have this stuff to be ready to do your job. I always had this stuff because I just wanted the paycheck. You know, like, oh, yeah, I don't have this cable, but I got 10 other more. Am I still going to get paid? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Yeah, that's I'm another, still getting the paycheck, right? That's another way of looking at it, but it's true, you know? And so, yeah, that's really how it came about. I'm just like, don't call yourself a professional if you can't have a 50-cent cable or even a $10 cable, you know? Have have that because if that is the way you make your money, and that, that to me sometimes shows you must not be full-time because if you live and die by your gigs and to make oh, yeah. you money, you, be, you become prepared because you can't afford to lose that gig or you, you, you literally can't. So I feel like it's more of these part-time people that want to say that they're professional DJs, and I don't know a professional that's part-time. Again, you go to a football player, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> what else? What else do you do Every on the other Sunday? What else do you do on the weekends? Yeah, and it's like, well, you know, by the way, I got the sod business. I got to tell no, you, you. <laughs> what that's else do you what do? You do you you live, you breathe it, yeah, you know? Because I think people look up and they go, oh, I want to be like this DJ. Well, it's because they've dedicated their lives to this of one course. thing and hours and hours and hours. I know you know so much more than just the DJing, you know, video and audio. We had to learn, I yeah. Mean, you, you know, you know that, but it's all encompassing to do this one thing really good. And it's like, it just blows my mind that, you know, I can't find this cheap cable. Can you help me out? Yeah, I can. Why don't you go to Radio Shack? I don't know. They probably don't exist. Go Amazon it. Did he say Radio you... Shack? <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to have to stop. Back in the day. We're going to have to timestamp no, this go, video. Go, go to Amazon and buy yourself a five pack of whatever the cable is that you need. Because yeah. I guarantee it's not that much. They're so cheap on Amazon. Yeah. You know? And if you go, well, I don't have enough room in my backpack or your purse or whatever you carry your equipment in, put it in your car. Yeah, you got to show them the bag. Show them okay. the bag. Oh, you're in the ground because it's heavy. <laughs> so I put this in the we, car. We, we, we did not get paid by Jetpack, by the way. Oh no, I, I like their bags. I like that I can brand it so um, people see it. And I leave it in the booth; they see it. But um, this travels with me um, on airplanes. It's been all over the world, and um, I like it. Um, there's plenty of other packs, but Jetpack. You know, you see this. Uh, thank you for some love. Maybe no. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> But yeah, there, there's, there's, heavy. there's compartments galore. And it's, yeah. it's, it's heavy. But you know, I, I literally grabbed this when I came over here to do this interview, and, and what's in here is what I gig with every week. And <laughs> I make some changes here and there, but I'm very meticulous. I put everything where it needs to go. It all goes back. I don't just throw it in there because if I need something, I need to know where to go and I need to know where it is. So, and, and I would say that's not always been my personality type. It's no. just what you have to do. And things are getting easier these days. You know, it's like the, the hard drives don't need to be plugged in. So you don't need extra, you know, power cords for your hard drives. Normally they're just bus powered. So things have gotten easier. I used to have doubles and triples of so many different things that I don't even need that many it anymore. De it definitely changes. Yeah. Like I yeah. had uh, MIDI cables because we'd have <laughs> yeah, to use MIDI course. cables because as video DJs back in the day, you would have to, you would have to take a MIDI cable into your mixer in order to do certain things you're wanting to do video wise. And now you don't have to, um, the programs now are, are a lot more intuitive and, and you're using a controller that's already plugged in. So MIDI mapping is a whole other subject is, is very simple to do. 
And, and <laughs> the name was given to me, Rage. People were always like, were you just really angry? No. I, when I was learning to DJ, the, the, the guy who taught me, he goes, I have this name. I think it'll work really good for you guys. You, you use it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and he actually had me uh, mix uh, uh, learning to beat match uh, Rob Bass It Takes Two. There you go. That was, that's a popular one for a lot of people to get started with. That was one of the ones I started with as well. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just, I just worked on it in the living room for hours and hours and hours. I mean, it's like anything else. You can go out there and get your controller and you can hit the sync button and do a lot of different things. But if you just practice, 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 practice one you won't need the sync button until you'll just be a lot better dj i tried using the sync button and then when i wanted to do like uh I B- hit it by accident like, oh when, crap when i wanted to do bpm switches like if i was at 128 yeah. and then i forgot to unhit the sync button <laughs> yeah it didn't work out so well <laughs> i'm pitching and it's not going anywhere <laughs> yeah, I know. it sounds like garbage and, and honestly there is a time and a place i think for a sync button let's say you want to throw an acapella on real quick you yes. can sync it and it's automatically ready to go at least near that bpm of so course you can throw it on quickly if you were just trying to do some kind of crazy 15 minute set where you you know you're doing I, I would recommend playing that one out make sure they were all at the, <laughs> at the same bpm to just drop oh, them no, <laughs> acapella bpm oh, oh it's man. fun though when you do be fun. when you do stuff live cuz yeah. you're like oh let, let me let me try and make this work and you're like uh maybe like, that- are you really feeling it <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> had a couple of drinks let's just do this <laughs> yeah right like let's just get on this so well i mean thanks for having me oh yeah, yeah once again fun. guys uh hit the like subscribe share yeah. ring ring button all that stuff yeah <laughs> we'll get some more people too so guys uh if you guys are seeing this interview and you guys want to join you're in town maybe you're traveling for somewhere else hit me up <laughs> you want to know anything thanks about again. me yeah look uh, me up you have links and stuff right we'll put it on um yeah uh dj rage videos yeah, that's your website? Oh, yeah. No, we'll, it's on uh, Facebook oh. and Instagram. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll link my, your Facebook. My website, and... it's easy. It's just djrage.com. Oh, see? Easy stuff. I well, paid money for that, too, by the way. Are you uh, copyrighted? I am. Sweet. I, should... I am trademarked. I, you cannot use my name. And I know there's other DJ Rages out there. Just be thankful that He's not... coming for you. Uh, <laughs> I can, but... It doesn't bother my industry or my business, so I don't let it. That's a whole other thing is about, you know, protecting your brand. I have a worldwide patent on my name and the trademark, so no one can use it. Yeah, don't even take a, think about taking a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be much more difficult. That, that was, uh, that his one's his a mom will come find you. <laughs> yeah, I know. She'll knock on the door. What you doing? Give me back that. Get out of your head. Give me back that helmet. <laughs> My kid especially needs a helmet. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry if that's not like politically correct, but it's a DJ's yeah. thing. So we're gonna get we're him some knee pads balls. and elbow pads. You go put a helmet on. <laughs> go yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna have LEDs. We should so. get some you skateboarding or something. Yeah. <laughs> with oh, the helmet. yeah, and then I fall and crack my head open. Not with the helmet on. <laughs> I thought that's what you were saying. I was like, Jesus, man, that's that's pretty difficult. Well, we'll make it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. yeah appreciate thanks. It. I appreciate it. That's fun. <laughs>